if you put a finger on my sister, I guarantee your head pop, pop, pop just like blister. I might smile and grin, but trust me, darling, when it comes to hi everyone welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new it's your girl miss sis and i'm back with another video so in today's video i am super excited because i've been waiting to get my hands on these shades for a very long time nyx cosmetics extended their butter glosses probably about three or four months ago and one of my virtual sisters uh, which i will leave her socials in the description box below literally shouted me the other day and said they're finally available for us to purchase in the uk so if you are new and you do love makeup content make sure you do subscribe I would really appreciate it and also put your post notifications on to all because sometimes YouTube takes it off and my schedule is a little bit all over the place and I don't want you guys to miss out any uploads so let's get right into the video I'm not gonna lie I do love NYX cosmetics but one department they kill it is in the lip department like the lipsticks the laundry lines the butter glosses just amazing my favorite shades from the butter glosses is Madeline Praline and Ginger Snap um, and Cinnamon Roll and I know Cinnamon Roll came back again but it's like a different shade and a different undertone so, but these are the shades that I got and um, if you're curious and you are from the UK I did get my ones from Look Fantastic and um, the retail for £6.50 I do have a discount code which you can get 20% off and um, which I will leave it on the screen so if you are interested girl Look Fantastic has the shades I don't think all the new shades but I have the majority of the shades, so you know. We are going to wipe this lip gloss off, because once again, I was filming previously. And I really want to get this video out as soon as possible, or film it, whilst I've got a little bit of daylight. Okay, so these are the lips in its natural glory. So let's dive in, in the first shade. So the first shade that I've got is Caramel, which is a really beautiful shade. I'm not going to lie, girl. <laughs> this one looks like it's a bit, oh yes, yeah. Mm -hmm. Can you not even see that? Maybe like this, maybe. I'm also gonna swatch the shade on this side as well. And it is literally like a caramel color. So nice to the point that it's kind of blended in my skin tone. So this one is cute. If you're a deep dark girl, this would be a really beautiful nude. I am loving this shade. Yeah, I'm loving this shade. So the next shade that I have is Spike Toffee. I wish NYX has the description of the shades, but they don't. But that is Spike Toffee. And let me see what she's saying. Ooh, yeah, that's a nice shade. Can you even see it though? So that one is Caramel and that one is Spiked Toffee. And do you know what? I didn't expect Spike Toffee to look like this because I think of a toffee shade in my head. But it's still a really nice, a beautiful Marvy Brown. Oh yeah, this is nice. So this shade is Spiked Toffee. I did apply about three coats because with the butter glosses, what I noticed about the formulas, they're not really long lasting and they're not really that opaque. So depending what you like on your lips, oh God, God. The back of my head, itch me up. So yeah, anywho, take two. And they're not the most long lasting lip glosses either. So I did apply three coats but the shade is beautiful once again it's a really nice soft marvy brown sort of nudie shade which will match a lot of skin tone these are the shades that i'm talking about because girl when i tried the, the revolution liquid matte lipsticks mm -mm, mm -mm. so the next shade i'm gonna try is a brown drip yeah no sorry brownie drip she is <laughs> drip drip that one is brownie drip on this side of my hand let me just zoom in so once again caramel melt caramel sorry spiked toffee and a brownie drip so on this part of my hand it has more of like a orangey hue undertone to it not too orange but it's just got like a really warm undertone let me say that oh yeah yeah it's definitely got more of that warm orangey hue Okay, so this is Brownie Drip. I really like the shade. Like, this is a very nice, everyday, wearable shade when it's just not too much. Obviously, if you're lighter, the shades are gonna appear differently to people like my skin tone and obviously deep darker. But this is, a, yeah, this is like the perfect nude. This is a really nice nude. Mm, yeah, this is a really nice nude. Once again, three coats. No lip liner, of course. I haven't finessed any of them. Still kind of look like skin tone like for me. Beautiful though. 
Oh yeah. Mm. Yeah, I'm dig. Yeah, I'm digging this. This is this is cute. She is cute. Okay, next one we've got butterscotch, and this is what butterscotch look like. They might literally look all the same from afar on camera, but they're not. Oh yeah, butterscotch is a bit of me. Can you? I'm gonna keep saying that. Can you see that? But yeah, butterscotch is a bit of me. So yes, caramel melt, spiked toffee, brownie drip, and what's this again? Butterscotch. <laughs> Is it? Yeah, that's it. And the butterscotch is up here. Really, really nice. Love the shade. So this is butterscotch, and I would definitely say this shade is a little bit more a nude, like a versatile nudie shade to complement quite a lot of skin tones. Probably looks more milky on me, especially when I could see my natural lip colour peeking through. But I know for a fact Finesse this with a brown lip liner, nobody can have chat for me. Very pretty. It's actually one of my favourites. It probably don't look cute right now, but you guys know. Finesse this with a brown lip liner, you're good to go. Apply it on your light, perfect nude lip combo, like a matte lipstick or liquid lipstick, satin and a liner and this on top, you're good to go. This is really nice. And then lastly, I had to go for a little bit of a, of a boom shade, a little bit dark. I went for this one right here, and this one is called Lava Cake. Oh, that chocolateness. Listen, autumn, baby. Hello. Can you see that? <laughs> Nobody can have chat for me. So, obviously, the darkest one on my hand is called Lava Cake. Wait, is it Lava Cake? Or am I making it up? Yeah, Lava Cake. Beautiful. Mmm. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so lastly, oh my gosh. Sorry, I just had to <laughs> check myself, girl. This is Lava Cake, two cults, stunning. Stunning, I don't need a lip liner. I love how, even though this is a dark color, it's like glossy, it's just got this beautiful sheen. Such a sexy color to wear, perfect for this time of year. Like this is, no, mm -mm. nobody can have chat with me with this lip. Are you okay? I love the shade, like this is a really beautiful shade. It's got a little bit more of a warmth undertone to it. So it's not like a neutral skin tone type of shade. It's got a little bit of warmth, but it's not too red. You can still see how beautiful the chocolate brown is. A beautiful shade. I'm sorry. Can anyone have chat for me? <laughs> I'm sorry, but this shade is so nice. Beautiful. Mm-hmm. I think I'm going to finesse a butterscotch, which was the one that I described as like more of a versatile nude. Okay guys, so this is the shade butterscotch and I used my good old Morphe lip liner in the shade Trendsetter. And this is what I mean, like you can definitely finesse the shade. It is literally a perfect nude to me. So I am loving the shade, like loving it. So in regards of the formula of these butter lip glosses, like I said from previously and constantly using them in the past to the present, they're not the most long wearing lip glosses and also because the doll fur is quite small, depending on your lip size, if you guys are blessed with beautiful lips, unlike myself, then you are going to feel like you need to apply quite a lot because they're not really opaque, especially depending on what shade that you get and what is your natural lips colour like as well. But the other thing about the uh, formula that it is a very glossy formula, it's not really that sticky and very heavy. I don't personally experience any disturbance like streakiness with these glosses. There are obviously cheaper alternatives as well, like the Revolution Share Brilliant Glosses are my absolute faves. They're like four pounds a piece and they're so pigmented. For example, this one, oh no, what's it called? This one is called Muse, just to compare it. And this one once again from Caramel, Caramel, sorry, from NYX, and there you go. So do you see what I mean in terms of the differences? Like the Share Brilliant Glosses from Revolution are definitely more opaque and cheaper. So, you know, each to their own. I'm personally not mad. You know, I am a collector when it comes to lip glosses especially because that is like my favourite lip products of all time. But these shades for me, these shades for me, like these are pretty much my favourite go-to shades, especially for my skin tone. 
there's not too much hassle the shades are beautiful it doesn't make you look too ashy or like dusty looking or like you're sick these are beautiful shades with different undertones and obviously there are different shades as well but yeah these are gorgeous personally for me my favorites are butterscotch what i'm wearing now and caramel but lover cake oh i love all of them to be fair but if i were to think of something like a go-to everyday shade it will be butterscotch because I don't know, I feel like it's such a perfect nude, you can't really go wrong. But yeah guys, that is pretty much my quick little swatches and first impressions. I'm so happy I finally got these shades. I might even look at the website again to see if there's any other shades that I want to pick up because once again, you can never have too much. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give this a thumbs up. That really means a lot to me. And I will leave the shades that I personally swatched in this video in the description box below. And I hope to see you guys in my next one. Bye. And boom, they're punishing like, big up my sister.